Hey everybody, and welcome to another Learning Statistics with Jamovi tutorial episode. In this one, we are going to talk about how to transform some variables into either new variables or recoding some variables that need to be reverse coded, for example. So that's how we're going to go with this one. Before we jump in, we are using the most recent version of Jamovi, version 2.2.5, good old V. Now, if you saw the previous episode, you know that um, we made our data set last episode. We have an N of 10. We have 10 people answering questions about, you know, if they eat breakfast or not and um, whether or not they like dogs or cats. Now, to get a accurate reading of how somebody likes dogs versus cats, we do need to recode one of these variables. One of these variables needs to be reverse coded based on how it's worded. So what we're trying to figure out with this Likert scale of one to five agreement, so one being uh, strongly disagree and five being strongly disagree, this cat's best variable is worded in the opposite direction. Now, of course, yes, you can be, you, these are not mutually exclusive reverse code. This is not a mutually exclusive reverse coding, but if I wanted to get an average indication as to um, dog love versus cat love, I do need to transform this cat best into the opposite answers because this is where people are saying five they agree with that sentence where one they don't agree but if we were to um, consider these two variables dog best and cat best to be mutually exclusive which we are for the purposes of this demonstration then we need to reverse code cat best because we have dog love variable over here and so if we end up with three variables that are associated with a preference toward dogs, then we can start transforming or computing variables based on that, maybe an average. Stay tuned for the next episode on how to compute variables. Okay, so we need to transform this cat's best variable, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into data. The data tab up here, this is gonna tell you um, what you need to do to uh, do anything to existing variables. So we are going to go to transform, okay? And we are going to transform cat's best. And what it's going to do is it is going to um, make a new column, as you can see, cat's best and cat's best, with a little uh, marker next to it, suggesting that nothing has changed yet. It's pretty much the own. It's pretty much just a copy, right? We have three, 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 over and over and over. You know, it's it's the same. So what we need to do is make the transformation. So what we are going to do here is we can use a um, existing transform, um, which doesn't exist, none, or create new transformation. So that's what we're going to do, create new transform. So we click on that, and it's going to bring up a new tab. Okay, um, This used by is telling us how many variables are using this particular transform. And the good news is, is that this system is set up to allow you to transform or reverse code a number of variables in the same way. So you don't have to set this up multiple times. You set it up once, and within the da same data set, you can then use the same transformation for variable after variable. So if we had like 20 additional variables that needed to be reverse coded, well, we can, and they were on the same Likert scale, then we can use the same thing, which is great, which is perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. It um, speeds up the transformation process considerably. And so this used by will tell us how many variables are using this particular transform. What we're going to do is we are going to call this um cats uh this is going to be the re oops rev coded this is the name of the transformation not the name of the new variable we can change the new variable name um in the transform variable tab when i i will do that last just so you know and this is you can add in a description you can add in a suffix to be appended so uh it, it you, could, you know say add an r to the suffix of the variable which might be nice okay so to transform a variable you have one or two options that you can see here. You can add a recode condition. That's one we're going to do. So uh, put a pin on that one. Or you can add in a function. Okay. Um, the source variable with the uh, dollar sign in front of it is the cat's best variable. It already knows that that's what you're going to use because in the transform variable, it said what the source was. So you just leave that alone. Don't make any changes to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a recode condition. Okay. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up if and else. Okay. And here it's giving you a, a sort of an example of how to do this. So it's an if else logical transformation. So with uh, if and else, if you are coding, then what you're saying is if this is the case, then do this, right? So if cat's best is something right here, double equal sign means equal, for example, one, then use whatever you put in here. So since we're reverse coding, ones have to equal fives, twos equal fours, threes stay the same. I'll show you what that looks like. Fours are twos and fives are ones. Okay. So that's how we do that. Um, if there is an issue with a code, then you can um, use your uh, missing value here, or you can put like a zero or something like that. So if there's like an empty cell, 
it's not going to be able to find that, and so it needs to use something else. So that's how you deal with if else statements to transform. Now, I will admit this is more Cody than um, people using Jamovi want to be coding, probably. I don't know. So it's built on R. It's using R logical formulas here. So consider that. Now, if you're coming from a SPSS, for example, this might be a little more difficult to wrap your head around because I think SPSS has has a great dialog box to recode variables back and forth. It's, it's um it's a little more tedious. I like this as a way to be able to reverse code several variables by only having to plug in the recode once, which is nice. So um, be that as it may. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in zero. Um, I know that's not going to matter because I'm going to have a, a source value for every transformation. OK, we're going to be adding five recode conditions. So what we're going to do is we are going to put in double equal sign. OK, double equal sign means equal. The equal by itself doesn't mean anything or uh, mean something different. I'm not sure what it means, uh, but in any case. So what we're saying here is if cat's best variable equals one, change it to five. OK, then we're going to add in another recode condition. Okay. And we're going to say, um, and here it's giving you uh, another thing that you can use here, drop down operators. So uh, equal to, not equal to, uh, greater than, less than, uh, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Oh, I see why uh, single equal sign doesn't work because it has to be a double operator except for these two. Got it. Well, there you go. Double equals. I was right. Double, uh, single equal does not mean anything. So here we still want to use double equal. Okay. And we are going to, oh, I got to say what it equals first. Uh, two is going to be four. And then we're going to add recode condition. We're going to do the same thing. Three, three doesn't change. I suggest, even though three doesn't change, I suggest doing this process just to make sure that you are getting it in there. You don't have to. You could go from two to four because three doesn't change and three won't change. I think it's a good habit just in case you do it in another program um, because you, you do have to set it up like that. As far as I'm aware, if you use Excel's recode. Okay, so here we do four changes to two. I like how they offer different recoding situations, which is nice. Every time you add in something else, it gives you a set. Obviously, this doesn't make sense. If less than five, use mail. I don't get that, but okay. Final one, if it's five, then, oh, and we can use tab to get over to one, okay? And then if there is no value that looks like this, okay, one, two, three, four, or five, five that, that can change it, then it will put it in a zero. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Um, here, we have 10, and then watch it change. So threes, state is threes, two is now four, one is now five, five is now one, and bada bing, you have your reverse coded. It's awesome. So here is the rev coded, right? And so when we go down, it is using the transformation rev coded. I love this because it has a red dot and over here on the data sheet it has a red dot so you know that it is that one using that now because it's using rev coded it appends rev coded to cat's best if that works for you that's fine you could also use your own thing and call it whatever you want really or you can just do what i did just there and uh, expand it so you know now if we had additional uh, ones to reverse code so if we wanted to transform dogs love we're not going to but if we wanted to we could choose rev coded and we can um, edit it and we can duplicate it i believe that's duplicate it and, or, or delete it i'm definitely not going to do that but i'm also going to um delete this variable because i don't want to have a there we go all right so that's how you transform specifically in this case a reverse code transform on a scalar variable if you have any questions, any feedback, please, paste, uh, please comment on those down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Toodly-doo.